Hi, I'm Dr. Isabel Cherney, Director of the Honors Program here at Creighton University, also a professor in psychology and also a director of a new EDD program in leadership. The Autos Program is a fabulous new program that we have here at Creighton University and its mission is really to create a learning community of, of young scholars, so uh, students who are interested in challenging themselves and taking a little risk in their own experiences, it's really a, a key component of why this Autos Program exists. So we made the curriculum of the program really very flexible to allow for students to try out new things, to challenge themselves in, in different areas. So we have three different kind of pillars of um, courses that we offer. The first ones are the Honors Foundational Sequence courses. Those get at the Jesuit Catholic intellectual tradition and kind of follow of um, historically what, where is that uh, tradition coming from, what is it, and what are some of the challenges to it. So I'd say that probably the the, the honors program has been one of the defining things of my college career that um, both in terms of academics and kind of leadership potential and also I mean flexibility in curriculum it's been um, been great. The second pillar is um, kind of introductions to the way that scholars think about their own work and disciplines so you would take five sources and methods courses we call them SAM courses and they introduce students to a particular discipline using a particular theme. Right off the bat, it started fall uh, freshman year um, with Dr. Jeff Bakewell's class, um, the Honors 100 class, kind of the history of the uh, Christian intellectual tradition. And it just established like the guideline and threw down the gauntlet for what a college class should be and what we were going to learn and kind of redefined our worldviews. And then um, we have the third pillar, which is about research. And research is really important to develop critical thinking and also a, a very strong relationship between a faculty mentor and the student. In one of my honors classes, second semester uh, freshman year, we learned about pilgrimages. Um, and there's this really famous pilgrimage in Spain called the Camino de Santiago, the Way of St. James. And um, when I studied abroad there, my uh, sophomore year, I actually participated in the in the pilgrimage. I've got my kind of um, certificate and stuff for the for the pilgrimage right here, actually. Um, and so that was all in Spanish, of course, in in Spain. And um, and so that the idea for doing that pilgrimage was sparked in the honors class kind of um, supported through the Spanish experiences and that's actually ended up going to be my honors um, thesis for research. We have to do research. Um, so that's going to be what I'm studying, kind of the messages that pilgrims leave for each other and what it has to say about um, the reasons that they do the pilgrimage. So the, the journey that the students make from freshman through senior is, is amazing. I see them come in really a little bit lost because it's the first time that they're away from home. And by senior year, they have this confidence and they know that they're going to graduate school. Most of them go on to graduate school. Some go on to volunteer for AmeriCorps, the Jesuit Volunteer Corps, or other areas. And um, they've become these really strong, confident, um, well-rounded young men and women that we are just extremely proud of. Every freshman lives on the floor on Swanson Hall, which is actually one of the best um, communities on campus. The freshman floor is actually situated in a sophomore dorm, and at first we had some, we thought that that might be kind of a hindrance, but instead it's, it's become uh, the floor to be at. So the freshmen come in and they bond immediately. From day one, they seem to be the, the strongest community on campus. And we have a retreat for them. We, we try to introduce them to the service that's available for students. We try to introduce them to diversity and lots and lots of social events. best is seeing the discussions between uh, members of the floor and actively seeing them challenge each other's opinions, support each other's positions, and really um, try 
try to t together to discover their to their passions, um, which is really what it's all about. Um, and and then supporting each other in their passions. You know, we have um, lots of students in different musical groups and going to each other's concerts and um, which is like seeing that support is just phenomenal. Uh, and in other aspects too, all people are always asking, you know, how did this project go? How is your work going? Things that um, things that people are, are individually passionate about becomes uh, something that other people are interested in just because the community is so great, which is something that I love to see. What was amazing to me was everybody participated. There were no little clicks or, you know, everybody seemed to just like, genuinely like each other. And that's not always the case. It's been it's been really amazing um, to be here and to watch the the freshman class come in and meet each other and bond and grow already. I mean, we're three months in and I've I've already seen growth. And, uh, but at, at the heart of it, uh, it is really all about the learning, and that's what really makes it, uh, that's really great also, because, um, you know, we're just more driven to succeed because we're surrounded by people who, you know, also want to succeed, and I think that's pretty much um, what the Honors for, that's what the Honors Program is all about. All I can say is I honestly love creating an Honors Program. We've had so many good experiences, from Funfetti cookies on snack night to the Harry Potter premiere. And then, I mean, of course, there's the academic part, too, where you're all in at least one of the same classes together. You're in the same RSP group, and you're all going through the same thing academically, and it's just nice to have that support base. So living on the honors floor is fantastic because basically we're all one big happy family, and we're all really close friends, and we have awesome RAs like Hannah. The end.